You almost got it. Who are you? Adams. Hot Adams. Fox Company, 47. That's 48 Division, eh? Yeah. You're a long way from home. It must be 10 miles north of here. Yeah, our guys really caught it. I got separated. Couldn't find him again. Listen, I bumped into you guys. I figured I'd give you a hand. Uh, well, you can stick with me. We ought to run into the squad leader before long. Go check that building out and I'll give you cover. Everything's clear over in that area. We picked up a straggler here. Adams, 487. Where's McDevitt? He's dead, back there. That makes four. Kirby, you keep an eye out for the others. We'll sit up in here for a while. Right. Ah, uh, you guys must have really been catching it from the looks of you. Yeah, eight straight days. That's two. Well. We're glad to have you. We can use the extra help. Thanks, Kirby. Sure thing. Hey, Sarge. They come the rest of the guys. No crowds out that way. That's my replacement? <laughs> oh, Adams, this is uh, Little John, Cage, and uh, Johnson there. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? All right, we'll set up inside. Little John, security. Mm -hmm. Set the radio up over there. Hey, Adams. Yes, Sarge. First name? Art. Arthur. Serial number? 9947465653. What's your outfit? Fox Company, 47th Regiment. What, what's all this for, Sarge? I have to call it in and try to locate your unit. Well, Kirby said I could stay with you guys. Well, we took out a straggler. He only stays with us until we locate his unit. Well, I'm in no hurry to get back, Sarge. Uh, 
The last I saw, our guys were really catching it. Sarge. Checkmate King 2, this is White Rook, over. Checkmate King 2, over. Primary objective secured. We took four casualties, over. Roger. Can you handle secondary mission, over? Affirmative. We picked up a straggler named Arthur Adams. He's a private. Serial number 99474653. Claims to be for number two regiment or division on our north flank. Lieutenant, I'd like to keep him until secondary mission accomplished, over. Roger, I'll check him out. Maybe we can send him back tonight. S2 reports quite a bit of enemy patrol activity in the vicinity of secondary objective, over. Roger. Out. Adams, how long have you been on the line? Oh, don't worry about me, Sarge. I've had a little. Yeah, but how long? Four months. Good, we can use it. All right, gather around. This is our objective. This crossroads. The Italian wants us to take it and secure it. If we meet any crowds on the way, we don't pick a fight. Our objective is to take the crossroads and hold it. Is that clear? Right. All right, leave your packs here. We'll take the radio and the mines. You're from 487, right? That's right. Well, you must know a friend of mine. He's from Louisiana. His name is Collins. He's in the 47. Well, there's lots of guys in the 47 I don't know. He's in Fox Company. Same outfit as you. I don't think I've ever met him. Hey, where's Kirby? Yeah. Hey, Kirby. You really think we might run into some Germans out there? My luck is a lead pipe cinch. All right, we're pulling out. Cage, point. <laughs> Take cover, let him pass. trying to do tip over every crowd in the area well he was looking right at me sarge he saw me didn't look that way to me did you see it i thought i did from now on you stay in line you follow orders but sarge just keep your mouth shut any crowds in the area they probably heard us know where we are all right keep your eyes open especially you adams
he'd jump on you, can he? Sarge? <laughs> He's about the world's number one jumper on it. Of course, that's his job, though. Well, he's pretty good at it. If I had a nickel for every time he crawled all over me, I'd be pretty rich by now. Thanks, Kirby. I just take it easy, huh? Hey, no kidding. That German saw me. He looked straight at me. Yeah, I didn't say I didn't believe you. Just take it easy, huh? Might be some Germans down there, Sarge. Maybe if the crop patrol ran into us coming from this direction. Leave the radio in the mines here. We're moving on two flanks. Cage and Kirby moving on the right. Right. Johnson, you're on me. We're moving from the left. Adams and Little John take a position further down the hill. In case we draw fire, you give us cover. Okay, let's go. <laughs> got an idea. Hey, you see the tree down there? Yeah. The fast man could get behind it, maybe get a grenade in the house. Maybe. And maybe tip off the crowds, too, if there are any. I could do it, little John. I got a good arm. Forget it. You heard what the Sarge said. We stay put in case he needs cover fire. Is 
Adams. Open up. Okay. Bad. It's just a nick. Kirby, take him inside, put a bandage on him. Huh? Come on. Cage, if any crowds come along, they'll probably use that road. Take Johnson and plant some mines. All right. Let's go. You want me to help him, Sarge? Inside.
I tell you to do? Well, Sarge, I just thought I gave you an order. You disobeyed a little junk. Got shot. I had to bust you wide open. Well, Sarge, I was... Hey, you just keep your mouth shut. You throw a grenade, you let them know we're coming. Bertie. What do you say your name was? Sarge, for Pete's sake. I said, what's your name? Arthur Adams. Give me a serial number. 9947-4653. What's your outfit? I already told you. I asked you something. Fox Company, 47th Regiment, 48th Division. Who's your CEO? Harrison, Captain Harrison. Sorry, let me ask you. I'll do the ask you. I want to know all about you, who you are and what you are. And what are the regiments from the 48th and who's your commanding general? Sarge, what are you trying to do to me? All right, maybe I made a mistake. That's right, not once but twice. As far as I'm concerned, every guy here could have been knocked off. Now empty your pockets. But do it! You better take a look at this. Sissy, we got a real hero on our hands. A what? A hero. See, so we'll start. All right, Adams, tell me. Tell you what? Would you win a DSC? I don't want to talk about it. I asked you a question. Would you win a DSC? St. Lowe. being around there. It was there. Where? On the left flank. The flank. Huh? You guys remember running across the 47 St. Low? No. I don't know. Too many officers there to remember. Where did you win the Silver Star? Papillon. Papillon, huh? This paper, what is it? Where's it from? Press line times. What state? Indiana. Leave me alone, will you? Little John, you all right? Yeah. Take security upstairs, huh? Okay. Checkmate, King 2. This is White Rook. Over. Let me speak to King 2. in. Out. I'll be out with Cajun Johnson. Let me know as soon as he calls me. If you're trying to hide something, Adams, you won't get away with it. Shut up and leave me alone, will you? Just been trying to help you ever since you got here, kid. I just don't want to talk about it.
do you think of this kid Adams? I don't know. Did you figure he's lying? Yeah. Hey, Sarge, you don't suppose it could be a crowd? And you finished deck security over there, huh? Over. Uh, Ferry, but we're taking no sweats, huh? He's outside. Want me to get him? Uh, Adams, yes, sir. He's still here. Stand by one. Who's that? Lieutenant Hanley, why? Nothing. Hey, Sarge, Lieutenant's on the horn. Hey, hold it. Put the rifle down. Get away from it. What's going on here? He's trying to get out the window, Sarge. All right, Kirby, keep an eye outside. Checkmate, King 2. This is White Recorder. Yes, Lieutenant, everything's under control. Yes, sir, he is. Say again. That dates me, Lieutenant. Yes, sir, I'll take care of it. Right. Out. Suppose you found out. I found out. What do you say? The 487th never heard of you. There's a quartermaster offered in the rear that has. They say it belonged to them. They say you're a clerk typist. Well, I've heard of guys that went over the hill to get away from a battle, but... But you went the other way. Why? Is it because of those medals? Is it because you want to be a hero so bad you lied about it? I did not lie. Well, somebody did. Newspapers don't make up stories like that. Well, ask my father about him then. Father, what does that got to do with it? That dunk you read in the newspapers, he did it. He made it all up. You mean the battles and the medals? Your father made that up, is that what you're saying? Yeah. He wanted to be proud of his son, to brag. How are you going to brag about a clerk typist? So he made up a son who wins battles all by himself. Told everybody, including the newspapers in detail, very convincing man when he says something people believe in. Go on. I keep getting clippings from the neighbors at home. All about how brave I am and the battles I fought and the medals I've won. So that's why I had to go over the hill. To get to the front to not feel like yours. So you could win yourself some medals. I have to face the neighbors back home. Sarge, I put in for combat duty. They said I was essential as a clerk typist. What could I do? I had to try. I had to try something else. Well, you keep trying this way and you won't have to worry about your neighbors back home. We'll bury you right here. Well, maybe you think that's the answer, huh? No, sir. I want to get home alive. All right, Adams. Go back to your outfit on your typewriter. Hey, Sarge! Trouble! You guys are coming this way! Crack 
coming this way. Get inside, cover the windows. Johnson, get upstairs a little, John. Don't fire until I do. Adams, get over by the window. I don't know. When I was out there before and they're getting shot at, I was scared. That was before out there. This is here and now. Get over that window. You can handle it. Come on. Johnson's dead. Place down. Try to get the machine gun. Flank it on the left. Hey. Todd? What do you want to do? Go with him? I suppose I should want to, but I don't. Well, you're learning. Get by that door and give him some cover. I don't guess it's going to get any better. Be busy for me, will you? Yeah.
sound too. Mr. Cove, I don't make a try for that machine. Huh? Stay in the house. I got shot in the leg. Congratulations. Now you got two of us pinned down out here. Well, I was alarmed. I was scared. I just wanted to do something right for a change. I know that kid. And the noise, I can't stand it. Stay put. This is a good place, is any? No.
I got shot. What do you want, a medal? Let me take a look at that. Doesn't look too bad. You ought to be able to make it. Come on, let's go.